Hello, my friends. This is Dr. Jeannie Barrow. Today is an office admin day for me. So I am casual today. I am actually going to be coaching one of my coaches who needs support in her business. So I will be working with her today. But other than that, I am going to take care of proposals that I need to write. And what about you? Do you have those days when you have catch up days and catch up hours on your calendar? I found that when I create this color coded structure and I designate Mondays and Wednesdays to be my admin days where I can squeeze a client in if they need to see me, but for the most part is back office kind of work that it really supports me in working on my business instead of working in my business as my mentor Fabian used to say. And so today's training is gonna be very brief and it's going to be, I hope, what you need to get out of the mode where we need to make a decision and we ruminate and ruminate and analyze and wait and wait and wait. It's so meaningful as leaders, as women who want to grow and adapt Fans, that we become very astute at making decisions. And if you were to ask me, Ginny, what is the number one mistake that you see people and women making as it relates to their careers? I would say, hands down, it's waiting to be ready 100% or wanting to be ready 100% before they take action before they execute, before they make a decision about investing and betting on themselves. How come that is the case? What is, why is that my number one answer? It's because it keeps you in a pattern of procrastination and waiting for perfection. So underlying the waiting and the analysis and the ruminating it's a sense that what if this doesn't work? What if I invest my money and time and I don't get what I want? What if when I actually get what I want, I'm not ready for that? What happens if I fail? What happens if the people around me judge me for investing in myself, for spending the time and then failing? All of these voices are in our heads. And what I want to leave you with today in this very brief training is if you're struggling to make a decision such as investing in yourself and betting on yourself on something that you believe is going to support you, achieve your goals, move you toward your ambition, your career goal, if you're finding yourself at an impasse, and you can't make a decision or you are delaying the decision, I want you to think about it this way. Whose voice am I truly listening to? If it's your voice, you would have very rational reasons why you cannot do it this time because of very factual things. However, most likely, the voice that's in your head is the voice of someone in your world whom you're listening to and you don't even realize your actions are being driven by this person's voice in your head, such as a parent, a spouse, a partner, a teacher who once told you you will never amount to anything, a friend who you think may ridicule you or make make you feel ashamed if you do what you're thinking of doing? Whose voice are you listening to? This is so important, my friends, because so many decisions and so many actions that we take or don't take are being driven by these voices that are going unnoticed in our head. And so by reflecting on this question, whose voice am I truly listening to as I make this decision, you will bring self-awareness to the issue at hand and it could truly help you 
get in touch with your voice, which is the most important voice in making such a decision. So that is the training. I would love to support you if this is you, if you're someone who struggles to make a decision, even if it means something that's beneficial for you. And I've had to face decisions like this all the time. And anybody who's worked with me in the past and anybody who's I've hired to work with in the past can tell you, Ginny makes a decision. She gets the facts, she analyzes the fact, and then she says yes or nay, but she has real substantial facts to substantiate a no decision. Otherwise, for myself, I default to yes when it comes to investing and betting on myself. Because guess what, my friends? You have nothing to lose. If you are at a place where you feel like, what if I fail? Well, guess what? You are already in a spot where you're not happy how things are. So it can only go up from here, right? It can only get better. It's not going to get worse than what it already is. So you have 100% chance of making a change, making a transformation versus staying in the same spot. And 12 months from now, having a conversation with me about the exact same challenges that you had 12 months earlier. So if you are looking to get unstuck on July, July 10th through the 14th, I will be hosting the Women's Fearless Leaders Challenge. It is a free training. And all you have to do, though, is commit to showing up for five days, one hour each day during lunchtime, Eastern Standard Time, 12 to 1 p.m. And I will help you with self-awareness, mindset mastery, how to increase your influence and impact, how to manage conflict, and how to lead for growth. So I will be posting a lot about this challenge in the next few weeks. And I hope that you registered at fearlessleaderschallenge.com. As a matter of fact, I don't hope. I encourage you to register and join us and other empowering female leaders who are on the journey to upscale their leadership skills so that they can advance and grow in their careers, support their teams and their organizations to succeed. I look forward to seeing you soon and to seeing you at the challenge. You can always find me at callwithginny.com. Live with purpose, live with joy. Bye, my friends.